Okay, so this video is showing off my version 9.0 of Asteroids. I had said in a previous video there wouldn't be any new versions, but I got to thinking about it, and we need, or I needed to add a version more like the original game where it has waves, and so I added a classic Asteroids mode here. Um, so let me set up the game to be like the original game. Um, and when you first select classic mode it will give you the option to set it as closely to the original game as possible where you have hyperspace everything's in black and white and the rocks don't rotate and so forth so let's set it up like that and let's just play it play a game with classic mode full classic mode just like the original game black and white and all that Now, you complete when you shoot all the rocks, all the asteroids, you start another wave. Originally, this game didn't work that way. This it would start off with a few rocks, few asteroids, and as you played, it would add more and more, and make them faster. And uh, so, I, I wanted to add a classic mode because it is—it gives it a, you know, a different way of playing it, a different feel like the original. It's fun. It's got fun aspects. So you can also change it up if you want to add the saucer effects back in and, and put the color rocks back in. I, I like my multicolored pastel rocks uh, scheme. And, um, and let's make a rotate as well, kind of like Asteroid Deluxe. And as you um, clear off each wave, um, the number up in the top left corner for player one uh, tells you what wave you're on. I'm on wave three right now, so that means I've cleared two, two full sets of rocks, and I'm currently working on the third one. So, um... You'll, you might notice that the, the bullets from the ship disappear at times. That's not a programming problem. That's actually a problem with the graphics card. I'm running this program on a, um, an HP laptop of an 8440p. It has an i7 processor and a built-in graphics card. They've had problems with the graphics card drivers on these old laptops. And... Um, if you, if you put the wrong driver um, on your laptop, then it will perform horribly. The game will be literally just crawling. But um, this is a good driver for performance, but it does have little graphics problems. And I've played with all the adjustments on the driver, and I can't seem to resolve it without hurting the perform performance. Even, even, I can't even resolve it really. The problem just stays there, but you can definitely hurt the performance with different adjustments. But generally speaking, it plays really well. And, um, you can see the number of rocks is pretty significant, the number of objects moving around, and it moves very smoothly and quickly. And this is an i7, I think it's a second gen i7 processor running at 2.8 gigahertz or something like that um, and it just really does well this program really does well I'm very impressed with how smooth and, and well it plays I mean it's doing all the graphics it's doing the audio and it's just really really impressive So let's change it up a little bit. Let's try Star Wars theme. So now 
and playing the Millennium Falcon. And you'll notice that the audio is using the Star Wars missiles or lasers or whatever sounds. If there's a bunch of rocks on the screen, it will speed up until it's clear. But if it goes for too long, you, as you noticed previously, it gives you a, a brief pause to get you ready because you might you might lose you know your concentration if you're having to wait too long for the rocks to clear. So I put a little message there saying get ready, and you can kind of study and try to figure out. Try to figure out how the rocks are going to approach you so you can take evasive action. These are all additions in this version 9 that I made. Alright, so that's classic mode. And you can play classic mode in fixed perspective, which means everything moves around and you stay in the center. And the classic mode simply means you can shoot all the all of the asteroids and um, that will complete a wave if you will. There it is. Wave one done. So just gives it, you know, these changes give it a little bit more depth. Let's try Star Wars theme, or Star Trek theme, sorry. And you'll notice this is Star Trek Enterprise, Constellation, Class Starship, and the Photon Torpedo sounds from the Star Trek movies. Klingon music for the Klingon ships. When you hit hyperspace in perspective mode, you'll see that X show up. That's telling you where relative to everything your ship is going to appear. And of course, when you appear, then the whole, all the objects on the screen shift to accommodate your new location. At least I didn't die by hyperspace. When I first wrote the perspective mode for this game, Playing it would give me motion sickness. I've kind of gotten used to it now to where it doesn't do that, but I used to get wheezy. Maybe, maybe you'll get wheezy just watching it, I don't know. But it's really very impressive how, how much math is going on in this mode. All the rocks moving, keeping up with the positions, and adjusting for you moving your ship. 
it's just I, I just I stand back in awe based you know looking at this it's very impressive coding to me and I wrote the thing so uh, similar games that do that um, time pilot the time pilot series of games had that type of thing talking about the arcade games died. All right. So now what else can we talk about? Let's see. All this was in previous versions. You can watch that. And all this was in previous versions. Let's play a Shields version and then we'll be done. And let's add some stars. What the heck. And we'll leave it fixed perspective. Actually, you know what? We've played enough of that. Let's try the, the original mode that I wrote. So you can see how Live that long works. and prosper. So, in the original versions that I wrote, you start off with a small number of rocks. And it keeps adding them as you shoot them up. Keeps keeps the number about where it was, and it gradually increases as you play. So you can you can already see more rocks are starting to be added. So the reason to do that is you can get more um, gameplay with less CPU horsepower, right? Like if you, if you had a a computer that couldn't do much then you could write a game like this and just limit the number of rocks moving because you know it's there's a lot of math going on and your processor will be stressed if it has to do too much but let me tell you this um, 8440p HP laptop I have with the i7 processor it has no problem with games like this if you have the proper graphics card driver installed. If you have the wrong one, then it's a dog. It, it's terrible. And people have asked me, how can you write these games in Tickle? And when I write things like this, it's horrible. Well, you may have the wrong graphics driver. You should look into that. Don't ask me how to solve it. It's You need a PhD to figure out this stuff. Basically, you just you know do a lot of Google searching and research until you figure out which driver you need for your machine. can see we're getting quite a few rocks and this has shield instead of hyperspace so different different gameplay and yes I really am that good at this game even even the arcade versions But in this mode, you can't do any cheating, right? In the classic mode, theoretically, you can sit there and hunt the saucers as they come out. But in this, there's no way. You got to you got to keep it moving. You got to keep shooting them rocks. Keep moving. And you you'll notice that blue shield when you start a new ship. You have like a couple seconds to with a blue shield, and you can run into objects. Um, basically, you're only going to have time to hit rocks because there won't be enough time for a spaceship to come out or a saucer. But every rock that you run into, 
well, you have a blue shield gives you double points. So it's kind of an incentive. Gives you know, just puts a different dynamic to the game, which I really, really liked that addition when I dreamt when I dreamt that up. It makes the game just wonderful. Gives you also a way to get a bunch of quick points real quick if you get in a pickle, you know, and you need some points. I wouldn't recommend killing your ship for that, but. Let's change it back to just regular. So you'll notice that sound when a ship, when a saucer is shot and, and dies. <laughs> I stole that sound from Space Invaders, the Midway Space Invaders game. I took the saucer dying sound from it and truncated it. And this, you hear that beeping noise, that means I'm out of shield. And I took that from Atari, uh, the uh, Missile Command arcade game. <laughs> and and what you do is you go um, on YouTube and you find videos that have good quality sound and, and you, and you mind the, the, uh, the sounds that you want for your games and um, I use um, uh, Audacity for those mining. So you, 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 you can download the audio track for an entire video, a YouTube video, and um, use Audacity to cut out only the pieces that you're interested in. And you save them into individual files and then you merge them into your programs. One more ship and I think we're done. But I wanted to play long enough to show you how many rocks this thing handles. It, the original arcade game I think had a maximum of 12 large rocks. This one I think goes up to 20. I forget what I limited it at, but it's very impressive. It, it just, it can handle it. it um, in the original arcade game, if you got too many rocks, the hardware couldn't handle it. And so what they would do, they programmed it such that um, when you hit a large rock and there were too many rocks, it wouldn't split it up. It would just, it would make a weird beeping noise. and. I'm, son, I'm doing a video! Shush! Um, so what we, in the original arcade game, if there were too many rocks, and you shot a large rock, it would make a weird beeping noise, and uh, the whole rock would disappear. And so that's how they handled the hardware limitations of the arcade game, which was really ingenious, but I don't do that in this game. Every time you shoot a rock, you get new rocks. So, modern day processors or what, and memory and such. But that's it. That's Asteroids version 9. I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry my son started interrupting me. <laughs> Thanks for watching.